Welcome to Al Haq's virtual field visit on Israel's enforcement of the buffer zone in the Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip has an area of 360 square kilometers, with a population of about 1.6 million, most of whom are refugees. Since Israel withdrew its forces and illegal settler population from the territory in 2005, the Gaza Strip has been placed under a military blockade. It is surrounded by a fence, and the crossing points are controlled by Israel to the north and east, and Egypt to the south. The so-called buffer zone is a military no-go area that extends along the entirety of the Gaza Strip's border with Israel as well as at sea. The buffer zone allegedly responds to the occupying power's legitimate security concerns, yet Israel's unilateral expansion of this restricted area and its enforcement mechanisms seriously infringe upon the rights of protected persons and cause many civilian casualties. Since the beginning of the Second Intifada, Israel has been progressively implementing restrictions on fishermen's access to the sea. The initial 20 nautical miles agreed under the 1994 Gaza-Jericho Agreement between Israel and the PLO was reduced to 12 nautical miles under the never implemented 2002 Bertini Commitment. In 2006, the fishing zone was reduced to 6 nautical miles off the coast, and two years later to just 3. To the north and south, Palestinians are also prohibited from accessing narrow strips along the maritime boundaries with Israel and Egypt. Overall, Palestinians are prevented from accessing 85% of the maritime areas they are entitled to according to the 1994 Gaza-Jericho Agreement. Currently, the buffer zone on land extends over approximately 17% of the territory of the Gaza Strip, and depending on the specific area, farmers are effectively prevented from accessing land located up to 1500 metres from the fence. 95% of the restricted area is arable, meaning that the buffer zone takes up over a third of the Gaza Strip's agricultural land. In January 2009, Israel's Air Force dropped thousands of pamphlets along the border areas of the Gaza Strip, warning that anyone found within 300 metres of the border would be eliminated. However, in reality, Palestinians have come under severe threat anywhere within 1,000 metres of the border, and in some places as much as 1,500 metres. Opening fire at people accessing this area, as well as land levelling and property destruction, are common and widespread practices. However, they are carried out irregularly and unpredictably. The precise depth and overall size of the buffer zone are uncertain, as are the parameters defining access to the restricted area. Although the occupying power carries out land incursions into the buffer zone an average of three to four times every week, and naval forces continuously patrol the coast, the buffer zone is not physically demarcated. Additionally, the occupying power has failed to effectively inform the civilian population of the extent of the buffer zone and the applicable regime. Israeli occupying forces often use live ammunition to enforce the buffer zone, both on land and at sea. Since the beginning of 2010, stone collectors have been increasingly under attack by Israeli soldiers. In 2009, al haq documented seven cases of rubble collectors injured by live ammunition in the vicinity of the buffer zone, whereas this number was ten times higher during 2010 when 68 rubble collectors, of whom 15 were children, were shot. Fishermen are also targeted on a daily basis, with many incidents occurring outside the buffer zone. In some cases, the Israeli occupying forces fire rockets and shoot bullets at the Palestinian boats at sea or on the shore in order to destroy them, thus preventing the fishermen from working. A sample of al Haq's documentation is presented on this map. There is an interactive version on the virtual field visit section of al Haq's website, where you can find out more about the people who live and work in and around the buffer zone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tour. For more detailed information about Israel's enforcement of the buffer zone in the Gaza Strip, including a legal analysis, download al Haq's report from the publication section of our website. You can also follow al Haq on Facebook and Twitter.